Hi guys, this video is about the uh, 2022 Thor Tranquility 2500 Sprinter van that I have. So before we get to that, let me just tell you the backstory real quick on how I ended up in a vehicle I can't afford. Um, I had an older Sprinter van that was like 2008 that I bought off my Glover and I put it into Camping World in Garland, North Carolina in January and they did a bunch of damage to it and basically it wouldn't run. I did a post on Instagram explaining what was going on because I was looking for help and because of the reaction I got, Camping World reached out to me and said, hey, this is not how we roll, we're going to fix this. So initially they said, hey, we're going to put you in a new vehicle and I was like, okay, pump the brakes, I don't want to be getting into death. So uh, long story short, I traded in my old vehicle and they put me in this 2022 Thor Tranquility, which is a beautiful vehicle. So um, if you're going to call out a company for being jacked up, especially on social media, then you owe it to them to highlight when they um, stepped up and did the right thing. And they really did. Uh, by the time I got into the new vehicle, my other vehicle had already been towed, they were fixing it, they were doing the right thing anyway. Um, but they were determined to do more. I worked with the crew in Asheville, North Carolina. Great guys, super friendly, um, and very, very professional. And uh, they, they got me into this vehicle. So uh, as part of that whole deal, I'm gonna do 12 videos about the vehicle, one per month, and uh, some posts on Instagram. And uh, those posts and videos are sponsored by Camping World. So. That's why this video is sponsored by Camping World. I appreciate what they did. They went above and beyond what they needed to do. It's a fantastic vehicle. It really does help my lifestyle. And uh, I look forward to, to showing it to you and sharing uh, the adventure with you. So let's take a look at the vehicle. Thank you. Good morning from North Carolina. Uh, beautiful morning up here in Sand Hills Game Reserve. This is Hoffman Training Area. It's, it's uh, Vinny, go lay down. It's part of the uh, Land Nav Course for Special Forces. Um, so I was here 20 years ago, almost exactly 20 years ago, going through selection for, for Special Operations. And uh, I remember sitting around this area, waiting for everybody to get back. And there was a student missing. And they went through, the cadre went through all the protocols and they couldn't find him, couldn't find him. They searched and then they came over to us and they said, get in formation. And they said, you're no longer students. You are non-commissioned officers in the United States Army and one of our own is missing. So we're going to do a search party. So they broke us into groups of 10. There's probably over 100 of us. And we all got on a skirmish line, we call it, lined up. And we all headed out to search different directions. And almost immediately, somebody found him over here about 200 meters away and he had fallen and his rucksack had hit him in the back of the head and knocked him unconscious. So he made it back to me and he was fine, but for some reason that just popped back into my head because, um, because of this spot. Okay, now uh, we're out here today to talk about, uh, I'm gonna walk you through the Sprinter van that I got from uh, Camping World uh, pretty much free. So uh, we're gonna walk through that whole thing and you know, if you're gonna look at a, a an RV, you need to really do an analysis on what you want it for. Do you want luxury or do you want capability, like off-road capability and functionality? Because you can somewhat get both, but when you try to make a vehicle do everything, it does everything badly, like every other piece of equipment, right? So me, I wanted functionality. I wanted it to be able to go off-road. I wanted four-wheel drive. I didn't want a big monstrous vehicle that I, I would be reluctant to take into town and I would be reluctant to take um, to, to drive in, in congested areas. I drove big, huge trucks in the military. I drove armored vehicles in the military. I hated it. The, um, since it's just me and my wife, we have the ability to, to pack it out. We don't need tons of space, don't need a big TV, um, trying to get out there to get away from TV. So basically, I got the 2022 Thor Tranquility, it's on a Sprinter chassis, 2500, uh, lifted, four wheel drive, and it, it, it's fully tricked out. And it is the coolest vehicle I have ever, ever owned, definitely ever seen. And for what I do, and for what I need, uh, it's perfect, right? Go to a lot of training, organize a lot of training, um, 
on the road a lot, need to work in the back of the vehicle a lot, and I'm not a fan of uh, campsites that RV parks where you pull up and, and your neighbor is like three feet from you. And if that's what you are, if you've kids, if I had kids, it would be different. Um, I have kids, but they're all grown up. I love it when they're grown up. <laughs> um, but so, it, you know, your requirement may be different than mine. I, I'm just at a point in my life where I want to get off road. I want to get back into the wilderness and I want to be able to have seclusion and enjoy nature. And I can't camp anymore. I have too many injuries from being in the military. I can't sleep in a tent. Um, I'll, I'll pay for it for a week afterwards. I have bulging discs on my neck and a fractured back and all kinds of problems. So this vehicle is perfect for me. So let's take a look at it. Again, it's the uh, it's on a Sprinter chassis, four wheel drive, uh, lifted, 2500 engine. These Sprinter engines will go forever if you take care of them. That the last one I had was a Sprinter 2500 as well. So, but it's built out by Thor. Um, the, we look inside in a second. Let's just walk back here. The windows are pushed out to give you a little more leg room in the back for sleeping. These are just outlets. This uh, this external bike rack was built by Thule or Thule, whoever you want to say, a Swedish company. And it was designed by their engineers as a pay attention device, right? So as soon as you stop paying attention, this thing will crank you right in the back of the head. And it works really, really well. Good job there, Thule or whatever your name is. <clears throat> um, moving around, blah, blah, blah. We'll talk about the back in a second. Uh, this is just a sewer, hose, a sewer hose. This is where you put in water when you want to fill the tanks. This is city fill if you're in a camping site and you want to use their water. This is the cassette toilet. Now the last one I had had a, a black and gray tank and gray water is just you know soapy water from washing the dishes or taking a shower. And then black water is from the toilet. And um, I wasn't sure about this, but I actually like it because you, you tend not to get it, let it get too full. And all you do is pull that little, this is the tablet thing. All you do is pull this out and dump it. And it gives you more capability, right? You can dump that into a septic tank. You can pull it out and dump it into a porta potty. Um, but gives you the ability to have less of that mess in your vehicle. And it gives you more places where you can dump it. So I kind of like it. Um, outside light, this is the, from the furnace. Uh, external solar panel connection. Um, cable TV if you're in a RV park, which I doubt that'll ever get used. And this is for your shore power. When you're camped at a camping site and you want to plug in shore power and run all your amenities off that. Um, on top, we have a, a, a Wi-Fi extender or you can, you can get a, a, a contract to pull in your own Wi-Fi from that with, an, with a um, SIM card, <clears throat> haven't done that, AC unit, and then there's a roof rack and a solar panel up top. And then there's a light bar right here for uh, like dark trails late at night. It's pretty cool. All right, let's look inside. And we're stepping in. All right, this is the bed. It's <clears throat> fairly high up for a little guy like me, but it's got plenty of room. All right, I can't. Wait to crank my head in this in the morning when I have night terrors. But it's got a couple of really nice lights here and it's sufficient. Now, if you're 6'5, I don't know, you would be struggling in here, maybe. Um, but me, I'm good to go. And my wife. Storage, storage, storage. Pretty good. Air conditioning. It's going to blow right on top of you. That's good or bad. Microwave oven, full fridge. Now this is tight, like I said, all right? But functionality is what I was interested in and the ability to take this thing anywhere. And it, it's a trade-off, which I'm willing to make. This is, you can access some of the storage in the back through here. Um, oh, this is cool. There's a little step for little short people like me. And it's also a storage container right there. Bathroom. Again, somewhat tight, but uh, very functional. Uh, you got a shower, you got a faucet. This is your sink right there. You fill it up with water and it just drains. 
into your gray tank, toilet, and some storage. Two stove burner, sink right here. And this is kind of designed, when you look at it first, there was more room in my older van, but it was bigger and it was bulkier. It wasn't as maneuverable. They, they've taken half the doorway here to set up the kitchen where you can open the door and then work and, and you know see the see the uh, the outside world while you're cooking and working okay um, lots of storage down here lots of drawers <coughs> um, this is going to be super handy this table swings out there are seat belts for this seat as well so basically on the road I can sit here and work on my computer and uh, fairly comfortably it's hard for me to sit in the front seat because I keep thinking my wife's gonna crash and it's better off to be back here sorry um, back here this is a Fieldcraft survival mobility bag with uh, all the med kits and stuff in it I haven't got the, the, the rig completely rigged out yet but that's a super handy piece TV I'll probably get never use you we may take that down actually uh, the storage this is your control panel controls everything from lights to the to the, the awning is electronic um, uh, your water tanks it shows you your levels it uh, your water tanks the awning the climate all your individual lights uh, status of your tires and temperature and stuff batteries and kitchen vent uh, wireless USB charged speaker for the outside which you haven't used yet I love this carpeting here I was trying to these are the field cost survival uh, visor panels all your med equipment are in here and they sit here typically and I was trying to get it rigged up and I was like here hang on a minute oh damn that sits perfectly right there your medical equipment needs to be within arm's reach if you have a rollover and, and you have an injury you need to be able to reach up and grab your gear on this side you'll see I have a tourniquet and a tourniquet holder I have some medical equipment stop the bleed equipment another tourniquet and I have a scissors and on this side I got other med gear this one's empty right now because I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put documentation in it but the ability to be able to stick those right on there perfect and they're very very secure never gonna fall um, and then these are all patches that I got from my current and previous life. Um, driving this thing is like driving a car. It's so easy to drive, so maneuverable, and it's got every bell and whistle you ever, you ever wanted, right? It's got lane assist. If you go to lane, it's got, when it's on cruise control, if you put it on cruise control for 65 miles an hour and the car in front of you slows down, it will sense that and it will automatically slow down to pace the car in front of you, which is kind of weird. Um, but it, it is a really, really comfortable vehicle to drive and I can't wait to do more trips. I, I'm not a fan of, fan of flying. I don't like sitting in a cramped seat. I don't like wearing a mask. I don't like, um, I just don't like the freedom of it. I like to be able to go when I need to go and not be waiting for, for flights. So my, if I never have to fly again, it'd be great. Um, I know I will, but I'm going to minim, minimize that. This vehicle, myself and my wife are gonna take this on the road a lot. We're gonna drive to training venues. We're gonna, um, the vet training venues. We're gonna, we're gonna see America in the next couple of years because um, I, I spent a big part of my time in the military gone looking at other countries and I really want to see this one because it's such a freaking awesome country all right I'm going to do more videos on this vehicle the functionality I'm going to get it wrapped um, I'm talking to Jay signs right now in Aberdeen and they're going to put a wrap on for me I'm going to document that process if I can um, and and everywhere I go I'll, I'll do a little bit of content on this vehicle because it's so cool the only my only regret is I didn't have it when I was younger but they're so expensive it's hard to get them but um, maybe it's not this maybe it's a, it's a tra a tra camper trailer that you pull maybe it's something else for you but when you have it you're just more likely to go out and, and utilize it so hey thanks for watching if you stayed this long and uh, uh, I'll be back with more videos in the future. Thank you.